Good morning, guys. Cheers. Welcome back to the channel. Fishing with Norby. We got our coffee in here. Look at this cup Cody made me a while back, probably three or four years ago. Us fishing together by the pond, fishing partner for life. It's a good cup right there. It's a good mug. If you got a favorite mug, I don't know if this is my favorite. It might be my favorite. I got some pretty good mugs. If you got a good mug, somebody's got you. Uh, Drop it down in the comments, I want to know. But we're rigging up today. We're putting on the double jig rig. We're going for crappie. The double jig rig is what we are using. Ah, couldn't grab my scissors. It is time of the year where these crappie are schooling up. More than 10, more than 20. I'm talking thousand. Sometimes a thousand crappie. Winter time. It's 29 degrees out. It's cold. I got my under armor uh, under layer on here. I'm about to put my frog togs gear on over it. If, if you guys don't have a frog togs rain suit or winter time suit, go ahead and get you that FTX suit. It is amazing. I'm gonna grab it real quick. Right there. It keeps the wind off of you even if it's not raining. And keeping the wind off of you, especially when you're running down the lake, is the biggest challenge uh, if you don't have one of those suits. So, get you one, link down below. Uh, Love it, love it. Just got the new FTX one. You guys have seen me wearing the old Pilot one, that bright blue one, I loved it too. Both Frog Talk suits. But uh, we're rigging up the double jig rig today. But before we rig up, I wanna share a little something with you guys. I was jamming out to a song this morning called This House by Ann Wilson. You guys should listen to it, it's pretty good. But uh, some of the lyrics say, you could lay bricks, you could dig a foundation, you could build up 10,000 feet tall, but if it don't stand on the word of the Lord, this house is going to fall. And it's so true, guys. It's so true. If you are not anchored and you are not standing on the word of the Lord, if you're not standing on truth, your house is going to fall eventually. And I'm not saying that, that life doesn't get us all down at times, but what picks us back up is our relationship with the Lord. Jesus picks us back up and he builds us a foundation a solid foundation and we can get through anything and and grow through anything and i've seen it so many times in my life and so thankful for that foundation that that i have uh so dig into god's word dig into prayer uh praise the lord worship the lord build yourself a foundation that is solid that is not gonna fall uh all right let's tie on the double jig rig got my jig box here Got way too many jigs in here for what I actually use, I think. Uh, I'm gonna throw on the old 16th ounce ACC head right there. That's gonna be my bottom jig. And on the top jig, I'm gonna throw on a 124th ounce. And this one's gonna be like a shad looking color up top. And you wanna loop knot it. So when you loop knot stuff, uh, you put your line through the eyelet. Make sure you're seeing this here. Through the eyelet, I'm gonna take about two feet of line through the eyelet, okay? And then, all you do, you grab your jig, and, and you do a loop. Just like that, okay? We got our jig looped, and we go through the loop twice. That's it. Boom. And you keep that loop fairly close to the jig, and you wet it right then. There you go, loop knot. That jig's just gonna hang down there, off your main line and we're going to go on down to our second hook here gotta focus it all right we're going to do the same thing with this guy man it's early 29 degrees out there this morning it's pretty cold for alabama we got frost on the ground i'm used to missouri though people are like you're crazy going fishing in that down here they, they get scared by the cold. Not today, Will and I are going to smash them. We're gonna go smash them. All right, there it is. The double jig rig. On this bottom jig, I'm going to throw, let's see, I'm gonna throw something natural on. They've been wanting little natural shad looking stuff, so I'm gonna throw on a little monkey milk. But we're gonna hook the boat up, go out there and catch them today. We'll see y'all out on the water. Got him. I see him moving in the middle of all this. 
There's fish and he ate it. I can't tell you that's a stump. Got him. Gosh. You don't get to swim today, scouting? No, scout, scout gets to ride along. Come on, boy. Oh, he's locked in there. He said, I want to stay in the car. What do you think, Will? Hey, Scout. Oh, that's a good looking sweater, dude. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, Cody, yeah, Cody dude. gets him all well, fixed. Yeah. Up. He probably gonna like these. These are my meat handling gloves <laughs> when we cook, cook oh. uh, smoke hams for the rotary club. Oh, wow. Put those on and then put the little rubber gloves over them. Nice. Then you can handle the hot hams to wrap them. Wow. Stuff, so. Wow. How you doing yeah. this morning? I let one up to 34. Awesome. Yeah, it's a heat wave. Truck said 31. I don't okay. know if you let it get 34 or it not. It said 34 on the way over, but. Well, that's a Ford, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all go check out Gilbert and Bob Ford yeah, in Albertville. <laughs> it's it's going to warm up your life. All right, we're going to put in go fishing. All right, guys. We're pulling up. We're going to have live scope on the screen for you. If that doesn't look beautiful and look like a lot of crappie, then I don't know what does. Got our double jig rig on. Drop them down. There it is. Just dropped into the about 20 foot out. I'm right in the middle of them. That was that was the average or below average yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> A big one on the bottom. A little one on the top. I'm gonna take my split shot off. Go a little slower. Get him, Will. Nice. <laughs> That's a big one. Wow. Oh, he oh, spit it. Oh, man. That was a stud. Bigger jig? Yeah. No split shot. No split shot. Nice. Wow. That was a big one. Game time. First cast, Will. Oh, that one. First cast. What did you go for? That one I just showed you. That little itty bitty one oh, with the minnow candy. And look, he swiped at it. He didn't even yeah. eat it good. There we go. All right, folks. Number one for the day. We've caught, Will's caught a lot of yellow bass and spotted bass, and he lost a big one, but that's the first one we got for you guys. You missed one? All right, we got our thump net in there. Woo! Yes. That's what I'm
Boom. Start. It's warming up. Yes. Got to throw in between the eel grass here. Right below the boat. That's a good one. Ooh. Nah. Our boat flipped uh, till we got our limit without retying. Never broke off. Awesome. Never hooked the stump. Nothing. Eight pound test. Six. Six. Six pound P line. I got uh, six. I got ten. Well, if it's six pound P line, it's, it's eight to ten pound <laughs> They want to make sure you don't break off. Yeah. Got him way down there. All right, number two. If you guys didn't know what I was talking about with that thump net, it's in my live well here. You pull it out and your crappie just sit in it. And when you're done fishing, you just pull them all out at once. This thing is a prototype. I've been tweaking it, getting it right. We'll let you know when it's available. It's gonna be a game changer. Floats in the water, you can throw it off the bank, tie a rope to it. I'll show you guys at the end of the video when we have all our crappie in it. I'm just going to toss it in the water. New spot, oh, new spot. Oh, I got your line. You did? Barely. He went around you once. Oh, just get him on hook. Wrong one. <laughs> <I'm already laughs> Let me just throw him over the water real quick. I think it's. Ooh. Let me not make it worse. It should be a simple one. <laughs> yeah, it is. There we go. All right, new spot. Another one. in the thump net. You see your jig down there, Will? No. Okay. They're about 20 feet out. The bottom and get back up off. Well, I didn't cast quite far enough. That current, you can see it. You guys can see it pushing that jig. Probably turn my gain up a little bit. Those are good ones, I think. Oh, he nipped it. Let's turn the gain up a little bit. Yep, those look like good ones, Will. A little yellow swimming at it. I think he got it. Trying to get past that little yellow. Yeah, I'm getting hit by a yellow. Three times that cast. Twenty-five feet. Well, I need to stand in the. What? I need to put some shadow on the screen. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I'm moving it helps. And everything went wild. <laughs> it helps, don't it? I'm right in him. There he is too. You can see him pull out of there. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, there's a one shooting up with him. Yeah. Wow. 
That's a good one. Oh, I see him. It's a bass. The one, uh, it was like a pound and a half spot that was with him. Maybe a pound, pound and a half. All right. Another one, folks. You saw him get pulled out of that pile. Don't mean the thump net. All right, go a little, a little further, yeah. Right where you're at's about where I got bit. I don't want to set the hook because I feel like it's a white half the time. <laughs> there he is. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Job, Thank you. Another nice one. Then. It is another nice one. All right. Look at that black tip on his nose. Or on his bottom lip. Yep. Off a little yeah, black, black spot. Black. Yep. You see yours on there? Yeah, I'm at the very back of the screen, man. Okay. I'm right behind you, I think. Is that mine? Oh, yeah, that's mine. Where's yours at? I'm right underneath you. Okay. As long as you can see it. Come on. Maybe they'll start biting. Oh, he's chasing me. Yes. Oh man, he had some shoulders. I think I do. I think I do. It's in this one. Oh man. Oh, I haven't even seen him yet. Might be across. Might be that bass that was eating you. Oh my gosh. Gotta be that bass, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> until it started doing that, I thought it was a crappie. And it might still be. Oh, that's a spot. good spot. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's, that's a like big old tacos. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? That's a big spot. I gotta get a picture with that oh, guy. Yes, I'm proud of that Six one. Six pound test in the crappie rod. Yeah. Oh. Three pound spot. Look at that, guys. He wanted it. He thumped it. Man, look at the belly on that dude. Beautiful. He's probably a normally a two pounder pushing three. Wow. Oh. Thank you, Will. Super scouter. What a stud. Stud spot. See ya. That was cool. That was a, that was a dead gum hammer right there. <laughs> we moved. We moved or they moved. One or the other. It's like right there. He's a coming. Got him. That's a big one. Gosh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'll flip him, but it's a big one. It is a big one. All right. That's what I'm talking about now. Whew, thank you, Lord. There's a 13 incher. You're right behind me there. Oh, I see him. I'm all right behind you. Come on, fish. Got him. <laughs> I kind of hooked him slow to make sure it wasn't a white. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. All right, Will. I'm going to have go to stop to fishing cup. for a minute. I'll let you catch up. No, I'm just going to go. <laughs> I mean, I think it's cool. Really yeah, I think it might be the killer. You put that purple thump gel on? Yep. All right. I'm going to re-dab up. 
stuff. It's the minnow candy. That minnow candy scout right there. They're what? They're ignoring it. Mm, juice. Perfect. Right. Yeah, they're not after too much. No. Give us a yellow. Those are good ones, though. Of course, every time I say last cast wheel. Yeah. Gosh. That's a bass. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's move. We gotta find some hungrier fish. You guys are, it might be looking like we're just wearing the fish out, which it's been pretty good. I'm not complaining. But it's like one every 10 or 15 minutes, and we, we want one every minute. Yeah, that's fine. Stop. I'll leave it out. I'll throw it. Well. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I'll I'm happy to leave it out. Leave it out. Yeah, we can just leave it out. We're gonna end up needing it. Oh, it's straight down. There. Yeah. Look. Look at this. We're pretty much. My waypoint's just to our right. Oh yeah. I think those are crappie. They are crappie. Yeah. This is the spot. We're about to, it's about to be the lights out. It's big too. <laughs> Look at that wheel. They wanted it. They wanted it. Oh. Just another, what, 20 feet? Your stick is five feet behind our boat. Boop. If I don't catch one on this cast, something's wrong. Well, I flew through there just a minute ago when you through were through those. Yeah. Ooh. This is the spot. Little yellow bass. Oh, that's a big one. Got him. <laughs> there we go, folks. Another one. That white bit it. I didn't set, I kind of set the hook, but didn't want him. That crappie came out there and got a little jealous, I think. Now we're sitting out in front of your stick. Yep. <laughs> I guess I guess it's the same spot. <laughs> I don't know why there's so many yellows in there today. Just covered up. Could be bluegill in there too, I guess. They left? Nice. 9.37, Will. I got him all fast. Got him. Oh, yeah? Woo! Well, I mean, I can still Right. <laughs> Me either. That is a stud. Do it. Do it. That's a 12-incher. Yeah, we 
shall see. Yeah, we got a wedding going on at the venue today. Cody's doing hair and makeup. We got all the tiny homes done, Will. Thank you. Um, well, last weekend our wedding booked all 13. This weekend. Yeah, now that is impressive, Android. <laughs> That's far more impressive than the one I caught because that one wasn't even being a hey, You had to snag him. I did snag him. Uh oh. Falls down the boat. I'll never find him. Well, this no good in two days. <laughs> oh, they're following it. Thinking. Now that last one ate it falling. I mean, like falling, literally ran really. three feet out of the bush falling and ate it. Oh, that one they hit it while it was falling too. See? Exactly the same. They might be turning on. You got fire. Or maybe up. you just thump gilled it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he <laughs> that's it. a first cast after. I ain't gelling it. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Boom. <laughs> I'm going old school right here. <laughs> That was another big old It wasn't as big as the first one, but it was big. Wow. He looked thick. That's why I thought it was bass. Saw like when yeah. he was vertical. Hmm. Got him. Yeah, he did. You could see. Oh, there was another one with him. Sweet. I see him moving in the middle of all those fish and he ate it. Oh, all the fish down there. I saw this giant just moseying through them all. Whew. Pew! Like that. Mm. Pretty good. Double up, Will. All right. That's what we're talking about. But yeah, but see, 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 they're still, see how they're still. That's one, I guarantee you that's a stump. Got him. Gosh. And they're not all small. Look, he ate that yes, big, that big one. Yeah. Dang. Yep. All right, pulling out the old thump net. Look at that, folks. We got all of our crappie in that thump net here. We're gonna split them, go flay them. We're gonna do a little catch and cook in this episode. I'm gonna fry some up for lunch today. So, let's let's give a couple of the biggest ones. Get a picture, Will. Sure. That's awesome. It's crazy how many that net holds. Yeah. Wow. Some studs, Will. I'm gonna get a look in there. That's crazy. We got a lot of fish in there. Yeah, there's a few hammers in there. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we had 32. We're gonna go home, flay them, cook them up for lunch, do a little fried crappie in this episode. Have fun, Will. Oh yeah, thanks, that Andrew. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Appreciate you Always bringing a the good boat. Time. No problem. No problem. Always a good time. Let's go flay us up some crappie. Okay, so here's what you do. You get your crappie. Man, they're so round. You go under the fin, just like that. Do like you normally do with the electric flame knife, and then. Once you flop that play over, cut around the ridge. One motion like that. And then you slide your ribs in the bucket. You have a perfect flay. Look at that flay. That's a small crappie too. Big flay. We got so much meat coming. People don't know what to expect. All right, so here it is, fast motion.
just like that. That's how easy it is. I used to play about 3,000 fish a year back in Missouri when I ice fished. Look at the belly on that dude. One more. Two down, look at all the shad. They've been gorging on shad, look at that. Man, they're starting to get eggs for the spring. Okay, we just flayed up our fish. We soaked them in salt water for about 15 minutes. Look at that, beautiful crappie fillets. Perfect size, we got our oil heating up. Oh yeah, see if it's hot enough. Yeah, I think it's hot enough. Then I got Louisiana Cajun fish fry batter. Straight from Walmart, it's only a couple bucks. You can do a ton of fish in it. Put a few flays in there, shake them up, and we're gonna fry them. Okay, we flayed up seven crappie, gave the rest a will, and we had 32, so gave him 25. Uh, I'm actually gonna make crappie tacos. Another tip, save your batter, throw it in the freezer. That's all you need to do to maintain your batter and use it again. Just freeze it, take it out next time you wanna use it. And we're gonna make these crappie tacos. Gotta test it out. Mmm, so good. Keeping it simple. White rice, ranch, Cajun fish, tortilla. We're gonna make these up, take some of the neighbors real quick, see what they think. So my camera died, but they're building a house uh, and fed three workers fish tacos. I ate some fish tacos and they were delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a blast. Subscribe for more. We'll catch you on the next episode here at Fishing with Norby.